with Tammy Lovato. But Demi Lovato's taking a stand, as you know, because, you know, journalists, it's headlines everywhere. I think even Neil deGrasse Tyson reached out to respond to her. Because, you know, if there's a comment that warrants a, res- warrants a response from one of our most famous homegrown astrophysicists, who I take a lot of pride in because he's from the Bronx, he's a cute kid who used to wrestle, and he's, he's like Jay Harvin, 15, he's half black and half Puerto Rican. Did you know that? Okay, he's a New York's own astrophysicist found time in his fucking day to respond to Demi Lovato. Neil deGrasse Tyson states, Demi Lovato's space aliens have no feelings, so don't worry about offending them. Okay, so at least the guy made a joke. At least the guy made a joke. But here's the thing, Neil. I need you, your egghead in a fucking lab trying to find those aliens or trying to figure out how to shoot asteroids off of their fucking, what is it called? Their course, their trajectory, whatever it's called, whatever the eggheads call it. There's a name for it. We don't need you on Twitter. Can Neil deGrasse Twitter, Neil deGrasse Twitter, can you get off Twitter? You're a hero to New Yorkers. You're a hero to your community, son. Okay? You're a fucking astrophysicist egghead. I don't need you responding to some mentally ill chick who I have no idea who she is. Who the fuck is Demi Lovato? Is she... Is she one of the Wilson sisters? Was she, was she in the Disksy chicks? I don't know who she is, dog. All I know is I saw a picture of her and I thought she was Rain Wilson. And he's a male actor because I thought he was one of the Dixie chicks. There's too many people to memorize. I want to go back to days when it was George Clooney and Will Smith. And that's it. And Matt Damon. And everyone who thought of the two, everyone thought... It was going to be Ben Affleck who was going to be the big movie star. But Ben Affleck got distracted by too much. Pass, pass. He did Geely with J-Lo. Was J-Lo, was J-Lo and Geely? Yeah. You do a movie with J-Lo, Bubba. Uh, while well, fucking Matt Damon was doing the Bourne, the identity joints. He was doing real movies. Ben Affleck was dancing around in a leather coat uh, on Staten Island filming with J-Lo. Mesmerized by that sweet pass, pass. <sighs> Too many celebrities. Demi Lovato, as you know, especially when you're watching this, I don't want to discriminate on the day you're watching, whatever it is. She has stated that aliens is a derogatory, is, is, a, is, is a pejorative, is a derogatory name for aliens. <laughs> Jay Harvey 15 says Aflac was going to be a movie star until he discovered what Saison is. Mark Palmieri wants to know, I wonder how Corey from That's So Raven is doing. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm, I'm surprised That's So Raven didn't win more Emmys. What happened to the WB? Demi Lovato. Okay. Her haircut looks like my accountants. I mean, she looks like, I mean, she looks like she just cut her own hair while she's going, mama's pretty, mama's pretty. It looks like she cut her hair with a knife. <laughs> Look at those bangs. Okay, so Demi Lovato's lost her fucking mind. Okay, I got a friend for you. Her name is Britney Spears. I want to see a new reality show the way Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie did it, except it's Demi Lovato and Britney Spears, and they are trying to start a company together and just roll cameras. Don't even give them anything. Just call it Demi and Britney, and and that's what it's called, and just let them go. Let it happen. She'll be fucking stabbing windows with umbrellas. Demi Lovato's will be saying, don't throw darts at the dartboard because the dartboard has feelings. Like, how would you like it if someone was throwing dartboards at you? And you're like, you're right. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking of the dartboard's feelings, Demi Lovato. So what happened? It's derogatory towards extra... Can we just watch what she says? Is it in this video? Because I've never heard it. Bill Brewer Baggins 415 has a great suggestion. He says, take Demi Lovato and Britney Spears and put them on the deadliest catch. (laughs) 
Jeff Bezos, can you take Demi Lovato and Britney Spears to space and let them out? Say, this is your stop. <laughs> and she'll go, I'm going to be with the extraterrestrial. <laughs> and she loses oxygen. Let's see what Demi, J. Harm 15, throw Demi and Britney into a room with each other and whoever shaves their head first loses. <laughs> Yas, let's hear it. Something very personal with you. Over the past year and a half, I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had the revelation that I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. I feel that this best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows oh, yeah. me to feel most authentic and true. Well, it's good to set it up. It's good to set up that calling the aliens a derogatory term for the aliens didn't come out of left field, okay? Right. It wasn't the first wild thing she came out as. First, she wants you to know that she is no longer a she, she's a they, she's non-binary, she is all the genders. Don't be distracted by the titties and puss puss. That's just, you know, that's just there. But, you know, don't be distracted. Okay, like a sociopath, you never want to be distracted by his actions. Just pay attention to his charismatic words. Don't pay attention, okay? While he's fucking robbing you blind and ruining your life, you, you just go, damn, the kid has decent dick. We're talking to the gullible ladies out there who love themselves a goddamn lying sociopath. Okay, so Demi Lovato used to be hot. And now she looks like she ate Shania Twain. <laughs> so I guess it was a print article of uh, an interview. Oh, so we don't get to hear her beautiful voice going, I'm Demi Lovato. I identify as they, them. Also, we need to stop this discrimination against um, this extraterrestrial life form we don't even know exists as a fact. Please don't refer to them as aliens. It hurts their feelings. They came to me. Um, I was kidnapped by aliens yesterday from my L.A. condo. They took me into their spaceship and they told me the reason that they haven't landed is because we're mean. And they don't like the term aliens. So as a representative of the extraterrestrials, I would like to say as Demi Lovato, if we can start calling them extraterrestrials, they will land and teach us how to live in Coachella peace. They want to make the world Coachella.